ladies and gentlemen, guess what? The modularity is finally, officially in-game. It is currently being tested in the 3.23.1 PTU in the Aegis Retaliator. So if I click the ship, you can see here we have a Aegis front base one module and another one is Aegis front cargo. I guess we can put this module because these are the torpedo base. So we can put these module into these areas. So I'm going to choose the front cargo. Oh, it changed in the back as well. I'm changed to the cargo module. So the cargo is actually a official module, the first one ever in game for many years. So now it is time to check this out. I'm really excited. Let's go. First of all, let's check the outside of the ship. I heard the ship has brought to gold standard. Can you believe it? Wow, the turret looks different. And this is a front cargo bay. It's not a torpedo anymore. Ooh, you also have this. Yeah, there are some changes here. Open. There is a button here right now. Oh, it's quite small though. It's really small. Close. So it will take me up to the ship. Oh, so this is the cargo module, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see what is this open. Oh, this is to lower the module here. So let's check. Let's go in from the elevator right here. So how do we get on board the ship? Yes, right here. This is a button for the front cargo elevator. So front and back. There are not a lot, but this is the cargo for the retaliator. I think this is the only way to go inside the ship now. I was wrong. I found it right here. So this is the elevator still here. I guess it's just the one right there because I don't see another button here. So just one side right here so you can go inside the ship either close from there or just close from here. It will take you to the ship. Oh, they removed the center. I really love that uh, middle airlock for a quick drop, but they removed it and the top as well. They removed it. Instead, you have an airlock right here on the side. Oh, wow. Let's see. Yeah, you have an airlock on the side. Nice. Do we have these on the other side? No, just one side. So the elevator go inside the ship is on one side and you have the airlock on the other side. All right, let's check the deck. This is the cargo close right here. No, that's the door. Oh, they have a button on the side of this door. This is a front cargo module. I wonder how many SCU this is. Okay, we'll go check the cockpit. Let's see, what is this? Wait, what? What is this, carry? Fuse! Oh, maybe this is for the engineering gameplay? Place? That's cool. I'm not fused. It's something to do with electrics. So probably some engineering gameplay is here. So we have a turret. Check this turret. The view is obstructed. You can see left and right. Very obstructed by this. But it looks nicer than before. I wish the turret, the view could be better because it's a turret, right? You're supposed to see very well, but no, it's blocked by either the MFD on top or by these huge things on the side. Check the cockpit. Oh, we'll take a test flight later. But uh, I think the MFD looks nicer. You got four, but you have to use your Toby or you have to look to find the other two. So only two right in front of you. And there is no weapon for the pilot if you're using modules other than the torpedoes. You need the turret gunners. To help you. 
So the turrets, I think they're all the same. It just looks better, looks nicer. You got one top, one bottom. You got bottom, the rare one, the bottom, and two smaller size one on the rare top. Let's go to the upper deck. So we also got a turret right here. I'm not gonna try it. And then we got some uh, weapon racks right here. One and two. And over here as well, three and four. Now we have even more beds over here. Whoa. It's, uh, <laughs> and we got a top window right here. I don't know if this was here before or not, but it's really nice to have a window here because this is a very crowded uh, bunker area. So at least you have a window you can look outside. I guess not. It's blocked. Now let's go to the back of the ship. We also have these buttons. I think these are the lights. Very nice. I definitely think we can have a medical module for this ship. That could be a small medical room. That'd be really cool. One front, one back. Okay, let's go to the back of the ship. You also have light control over here. Emergency override. Good lighting. Like it. Let's see what is this maybe some uh, storage not exactly sure what are these but you can interact with it okay so this is the other cargo module in the back and uh where are the components here nice shield generators size two shields full stop let me check over here this is an empty compartment over here. Ooh, what is this? I think those could be the engineering parts. I think this is uh, for engineering gameplay. You see the fuse? You have a fuse right here as well. And I take it out. It's red. I place... What if I place over here? Yeah, either side is fine. Okay, close this. Ooh, can't wait for the engineering. Okay, open this one. You also have... This shared storage, one, two, three. Each one has 530k micro ICU. These storage you can share with other people in your party or whoever access it. You can share these storage. Really nice. We have these uh, one, two, three storage, external storage in here. Okay, cooler open right here. I can interact with it. I can detach it and attach it. And this is the lower rare turret. Let's go over here. Oh, this is the cooler. Another cooler. Can open. We can interact with it. We can take it out. Almost got it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I dropped the cooler. This is bad. I dropped the cooler. It's, uh, it's, on, it's outside. And this is another turret. I don't see the bathroom here. Oh. What is this? It's definitely a engineering gameplay place here, and you have a fuse here. Very nice. You also have more external storage. Four, five, six. Fire distinguisher. And let's open these. What? How many shield generators does this, this ship has? One, two, three, four. On this side, I saw two on the other side. Six shield generator for the retaliator. Are you kidding? And we lost the bathroom. There is no bathroom on the ship. So, ladies and gentlemen, the bathroom on the ship is located at Tisa Spaceport. So, let's try the detaching, attaching. Same thing. We cannot detach these guns on the retaliator this has been like this forever even the gold standard ship like this we cannot detach we can detach the components now but the guns no finally this is the quantum drive crossfield and you can also interact with it so all the components you can interact with it with a tracked beam but the weapons you cannot I'm to take her out. The sound effect is also improved. Ooh. Thank you. And please visit again. 
Very nice sound effect. Time to load some vehicles! Oh! What the heck? Why is someone trying to ram me? Are you kidding? You really want to ram a retaliator? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can put the STV in there or not. I doubt it. Wait! I spoke too early! Oh wow, fits really well! I think you can put two STV in there. So, you definitely can put two STV in there. I'm not gonna do that. The second one, you might need to use the tractor beam because you can't drive it up from the back. But you definitely can. I'm trying to put this dragonfly here, but the dragonfly is too long for here. So, I'm gonna put it in the back. Nicely fit the dragonfly here. Ooh. I think the PTV will fit. Oi. I just need to land it better. Don't land it like this. So you can fit two STV. I think the PTV will fit. Yep, PTV will fit like this. And let's take a look inside here. Oh, wow, this is awesome. The back, we only have one dragonfly, but beautiful. All right, let's fly the ship around. Okay, let me lower the cargo bay. Let's take a look. Okay, bring it up. The ship flies a little heavy. Of course, that's the retaliator. It's a little bit difficult to fly, especially in M sphere. And you have these uh, little small engines right here. I don't know if we have this before or not, but look at these, the little small engines. So, do we have veto on this ship now? Let me see. Press K. Oh, we do. We can actually hover. This is the veto. I moved all the vehicles from the cargo bay. Now I'm gonna go buy some cargo. Let's check out that. Retaliator. 74 SCU, that's all I can get. Purchase. This ship, because of the heavy armor, you can carry some really important cargoes in the ship. It can be very well protected. Super cool. Okay. And over here as well. Let's check out the rear cargo bay. Oh, this uh, cooler is still blocking the way. And the front cargo bay. Like I said, this ship does not have a lot of cargo room. Only 74. But if you carry some really important cargo, the armor of the ship is pretty decent. So this is it for the cargo module testing for the retaliator. Maybe this is a historic moment for Star Citizen because the modularity is officially in testing and I can bet 100% they're going to be selling different modules during Invictus launch week. And I'm really excited to see what modules they have planned for us for this retaliator first and then probably some other ships with modularity. The possibility is limitless with these modularities. I really hope we can get a medical module during Invictus launch week. What do you think? And what modules are you looking forward to? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.